got birds flying onto the camera. Let's see if they're gonna do that again. Just checking out to see if this was a whole bunch of like finches that came here. Of course I didn't catch that. Oh, oh, there we go. Checking out the camera. That's pretty gutsy moves there, boys. Okay. Well, you might get some video sway in this one. Are you gonna be able to turn off the Atomos? I just made my day. All right, let's see if we can power through this. So I'm using the Nikon Z50 as a B camera to my Nikon Z6. I use this in two camera interview shoots all the time. I think it looks great. Uh, and if that's all I was doing was interviews, this is a fine camera. I'm gonna try out some B-roll today and likely I'm gonna do this in a few different scenarios. So you're gonna see, you know, some B-roll out here, but you're also gonna see B-roll in the studio and various other things. Okay, let's see if we can get this on the gimbal and get this 24 to work. I've had this uh, work with the Z6 before. It's not the gimbal's not too happy about this uh, um, size lens, but we'll see what happens. Well, this is sat on here with the full cage, uh, pretty darn good. And uh, oh, that is wanting to catch a little bit, but I can just turn that. No, we're good. There we go. Nice and simple shot. I'm gonna do kind of a little crane shot. expected. So there's lots of times that I'm almost at a jogging pace doing things. I'm gonna go. You're gonna hear lots of bell because I got my bear bell on. Pull this in. Let's try. So one of the things that I'm noticing right away is that I have, I'm, we're out in the you know bright sunshine, and uh, but it's actually not that bright, it's pretty overcast. I don't have an ND filter on this one. I did have an ND8 on the last one. Um, I have this up to 4,000 as my shutter, and the ISO, I have it on auto. It hasn't lifted off of the 100 setting, so I'm probably still overexposed. Actually, let's check that out on our histogram. Well, it says we're exposed okay. Um, but I do find this screen quite a bit harder to work with. But I find that with the Z6 all the time too, actually. Not as bad as this, um, like out in bright sunshine. You're kind of shooting blind. That's some motofocus stuff like what always happens because it got branches and stuff going on in front of it. I'm already on the red on this battery for the Z6, uh, and I've been through three today that were fully charged, and I've only been out here, you know, an hour and a bit. Uh, but I don't know if the cold is affecting these batteries because it is, it's cool-ish. It's not like minus 20 or minus 30, like what I'm gonna be taking things out in. And let's do a long shot here. Long and low. see what this is like. Let's go 
logs. Maybe it would help if I press record. So far, this is awesome. Um, I'm gonna use this same 24 to 70 lens and let's do a little bit of the B-roll B roll of uh, um, kind of product shot type stuff with the Nikon Z6 on the back of my dirty old truck. Let's go. Can't really see what I'm doing here. The screen isn't as good. I really feel like I'm shooting blind on this. I feel like that often enough on the Z6. I don't even know. I don't know what's going on. I can't even see it in frame right now. The heck are you? There you are. Final thoughts on this, I guess, you know, I want to include about batteries. Batteries are actually the biggest risk for this camera. Um, uh, you know, I have three batteries for it. I don't feel like that's enough. Um, the fact that you have to take it off the gimbal and put it back on every time you want to change batteries, and I'm probably going to get, you know, in cold weather, you need to change the battery every, you know, 10 minutes, uh, maybe, uh, maybe five if it's really cold. Um, so that's kind of a pain. Um, and, uh, uh, so I need to put some thought into how to um, deal with the battery. I really hope somebody comes out with a dummy battery that I can plug into one of the um, uh, NPF uh, plates. That would be amazing. Uh, that's, that's the missing link for this camera for me right now. Uh, do I think it's gonna get solved in the future? Yeah, I think with the ZFC camera selling so much, um, I really think a third party is gonna jump on this pretty quick.